Welcome back, everybody. This is Fireworks, and I'm playing Starbound. Yep, it has been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, and um, quite a few things have happened while I've been not playing Starbound, I guess you say. <laughs> uh, quite a few patches were, rele were released, and... Um, Lots of interesting stuff. I had to uh, get a new Alex here. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's confusing. Uh, but they're wiping characters because they have to make these changes and stuff. But um, it looks like if you if you want to get these changes, you have to wipe your character and stuff. So um, I'm on a new planet and everything here. I've already got myself situated, and uh, there's some guys down there. i got to be careful. Yeah. Check this out. Uh, this is one of the things. I'm pretty sure that this is platinum. Silver. Oh. Okay, well, that's fine. I'd be able to make a silver pickaxe after this. That's a good thing. I guess I'm going to mine here. Or, uh, I'm going to check out these guys. Y you think they're friendly? Yeah, me neither. I don't think they're uh, that nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can parkour whoa that was a little bit of weird lag there huh, parkour okay I see him they're down there and if you've noticed I'm playing on two times zoom level I gotten used to that I think I'm gonna try that from now on and uh, um, hope oh. oh man I keep lagging a little bit are they aggroing Whoa, whoa. I think they're both friendly. Check that out. Got some pixels there. I guess, uh, whoa, what is this? Some underground castle? Here, let me zoom in real quick. Whoa. Oh, okay, there we go. Some underground castle. And what is, oh, a carrot plant. That's strange. It looks like this stuff is kind of like grass in a way, possibly. Uh, I'm gonna mine out this stuff here and see if I can make it down there. I have not been making very many videos lately, so if my commentary skills are really bad, then uh, <laughs> I guess that's the reason why I have not had much practice with commentary. And uh, oh, we're almost, uh, we almost got this broken. And uh, what do you suppose this place is? Oh, come on, don't be ridiculous. Um, I got the flashlight here. I'm going to see if I can... Whoa, that's weird. The background changed just a second ago. Whoa, what's this? Can you investigate it? If those were a few of these guys, we could have a sing-along. Uh, what is this place? Oh, there's a guy over there. I don't think those are very friendly animals. What is this thing? Can I take it? Frog statue, that's interesting. I see somebody over here. I don't think those are friendly. I'm not too convinced that uh, this place is a very nice place to be. Uh, okay, I'm gonna set down a, two for t a few torches so I can see here. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. There's something in there. I can probably break it open. Oh, so these are like canisters. Check it out. It's like Legend of Zelda. Oh, and one more thing. These things right here, uh, these little uh, spikes hanging from the ceiling, those will hurt you if you jump up into them. So you got to be careful. And uh, I'm not sure if they're poisonous or whatever, but uh, I would take my chances um, I'm gonna run down here and that looks like gold check that out okay here we are I got myself a platform and I'm going to break this or got it yes that is gold whoa that guy's angry Come, get away Good. okay he can uh, spray gas at us apparently from his mouth which is a little bit disturbing uh, I agree with that so uh, I'm, I'm going to head down here 
Looks like this place is hollow and might have some things in it, so, uh... This is extremely interesting. Whoa! What is this guy? Is he dangerous? Is he... Who is this guy? <laughs> I don't think we're going to get his attention by shouting at him. Oh, hey, check that out. He's a merchant. That's interesting. You can get a sil you can get a pickaxe upgrade. That's nice. And that costs 250 pixels. And you can get bombs from this guy. That's amazing. I'm going to see if I can break these pots though. <laughs> you can. Um, let me see if I can upgrade to silver pickaxe. Oh, nice. I bought a silver pickaxe. Wow, that's really, really helpful. That's going to seriously help me out. Um, going uh, in the production in this world. I don't know. Oh, there's a guy up there. I'm going to bring out my hunting bow and see if I can shoot him. Oh, I missed him. Come on, Alex. You got this. There he is. Oh, he's angry now. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Let's see how fast this pickaxe mines. Oh, it definitely breaks a lot faster. That's for sure. It still has a little bit of trouble breaking this tomb brick. Smooth tomb brick. Holy moly! Just found diamonds! Woo! <laughs> I can't see you right now, but uh, let's mine them. Let's mine them. Yes. There we go. Three diamond door. That is lucky. Awesome. That is good stuff. And apparently there are these lantern thingies in the water too. That's interesting. And what is this stuff? This looks like platinum, possibly. What is this? Let me know. Platinum ore. That's nice. Awesome stuff. So I've been mi I've been mining. Uh, deep down enough to get some platinum ore and this is really really it's not too rare it's less rare than diamonds because rare diamonds are extremely rare but uh, platinum is like uh, it's like one of those tool tool ores and that will help me get a better pickaxe which is extremely helpful anyways I'm gonna head back up the surface and uh, I'll see you there hey welcome back and uh, there we go. I found out a little secret. If you're close enough to the surface and you break the, the background blocks of where you're standing, uh, then you'll be able to teleport you yourself back to your ship. And that's an easy way to get back to the surface without having to mine through all those insane amount of endless blocks and stuff. But um, I'm going to head down back to the planet and show you around. Okay, so um, this planet is a forest planet, and uh, oh, it looks like uh, it's nighttime right here, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to see. But uh, we've got these cotton trees and stuff. Here's where I first came, uh, hung out for the first night and stuff. Um, yeah, we've got these cotton trees that look really awesome and huge and massive and stuff. Oh, wait, check it out. Press E on it, and that harvests it. And if you want to plant uh, crops, you uh, just you get a f you get a hoe, and you uh, go ahead and till the grass and stuff using right click I think or left click, and it will change it to this grand kind of ground. And you can whoa oh crud uh huh wow <laughs> he hit me while I was beaming up oh man huh. I was a little bit uh, unexpected. <clears throat> uh, what was I saying? Oh, I was talking about um, if you are if you are trying to plant crops and stuff, you just need to get a hoe, which is this thing right here. I know. I think there's hamburgers in the game. And hey, check it out! It's daytime already. That's nice. Um, I'm gonna see what's going on. These guys are hostile, I think. Let me see if I can shoot them. 
Alrighty, come at me. There we go. But, uh, there's something else I found that you might want to check out. Uh, right off over here. I don't know if those guys are hostile or not. Oh, those guys are. I didn't even see them. Okay. I'm going to jump over here. Right here. There's a few... Um... Yeah. Some fun... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I gotta say they are funny looking. But uh, whoa, they're attacking me now! I not, I never got this close to them. Oh crud! They could one shot me. Something. Oh, oh, get away from me! <laughs> okay, nerd pull. <laughs> ah, what a loser. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can't get me. Oh, oh, oh. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Nothing you can do. What you gonna do? Come on. These guys are pretty annoying, though. Oh, they dropped. Oh, I killed Batby. Oh, gosh. They actually don't do as much damage as I thought. Silly Badger. -er. What? Is that a. Whoa! Check that out! They drop weapons. So, uh, NPCs can drop weapons and stuff. I just found out. Actually, uh, I'm pretty sure I knew that. But, uh, whoa! Check that out. And that does 13 damage, which is insanely good. As far as I know. Um, when you're in the low tiers like this, low damage. It sounds like uh, really bad damage, but uh, it can be very good in one-shot things too, even. Uh, it just depends on the armor penetration. Oh, this guy's an enemy. I think he wants to battle us. Oh, Alex is ready. Oh! <laughs> That's right. Man, this is a good weapon here. I'm going to see if I can uh, one-shot anything else. I know I can one-shot fishes. <laughs> that much is obvious. But, um... That's really interesting. It's a good thing I got that. I'm going to see what's in that chest over here. Oh. Eh, quite a few things. Throwing daggers. That's interesting. I've seen these before. For combat or circus acts. <laughs> nice. Hmm, they said they'd come back. It's like something out of a horror movie. Sure is. <laughs> uh, these tents are pretty good. I'm going to see if I can take it. And what is this? A barrel fire, which can cook stuff. That's nice. I'll take all these things. Apparently, I think if you break a background, it'll drain out water. Why not try that out? Yeah, check that out. If you break the background, it'll drain out water. That's an easy way to get rid of water, I think. I'll take this chest and uh, and this wood. I think, uh, no. Yeah, I'll just take all this wood. That's nice. It's nice that they so, so cleanly set this up for me, so where I can just take all of their stuff. And those bandits weren't very smart either. It kind of uh, ran right into me. It's my awesome skills. <laughs> Just joking. Um, I think you can find them every now and then. And hey, here's an enemy. I don't know if these guys aggro or not. But, uh, oh no, they don't. That's good. Let me see how much damage this does. Whoa, one shot. One shot, baby. Yeah, we got one of the most OP things in the game right here. Not right now, at least. Uh, once we move on to a different tier, it's going to be a little bit outclassed by a lot of things. Um, this is labeled as a a uh, common weapon, though, which is interesting enough because uh, common weapons are uh, usually not as good. Do you hear something? Oh, no. Alrighty. Check it out, everybody. Uh, hey, there's a chest here. Full of some really nice weapons. Aw, oh, yeah. Woo! 
um, I found something pretty interesting. And if you notice I'm lagging right now, you can go ahead and see. Uh, yeah, there's this thing. This could be really bad for us. It's really causing my frame rate to drop. That's not good. But Oh, I see you guys over here. In your silly little house mansion thing. <clears throat> I gotta get to myself I gotta get myself together here. This is really causing a lot of lag for me. And uh I'm sorry about that, but my computer is not good to handle all those animations at once. But um Yeah, okay, I'm gonna destroy these guys. Oh, they still have the same uh same same identification thing. Whoa! Whoa, they'll put up their shield and that was easy. What's in this chest? A harp! Nice! Awesome. So when you press N, it uh, it goes into identification mode and you can find out uh, some stuff about the item you're looking at. I'm going to take this board because it's a little bit rare. Uh, I'll see if there's a way in here. Most likely not. I'm a bit nervous about this uh, that stuff in there. I've seen it before. In a different character I played, uh, I managed to loot all this stuff. It's called Tesla Coil. And uh, my gosh, it's so annoying. Um, what is up here, though? I can't find any entrance in, so... Uh, uh, let me just dig down see if I can get in. Oh boy. Okay. This is going to be a fairly annoying trip. Okay. I can easily break in here. There we go. There we go. Ooh. What's this here? I've always wanted to brush this kind of take aside while flashing an ID. What? This looks a lot like kind of blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. And, uh, oh, hey. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion. Yep, not happening. Whoa. Sorry for that. Um, okay. Uh, looks dangerous. Yeah. I would suppose that looks dangerous, too. And, uh, man, I'm gonna have to get rid of all this stuff. It's lagging me so bad. Arg. And it's dangerous too, I mean, if I die from this a few million times, as you can see right there, I just took a ton of damage. Um, this stuff is extremely annoying. I'm just pointing that out. Oh, whoa, 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 I almost died, okay, okay. Let's see what this red stim pack does. Okay, it gives you regeneration, that's good. That's what I was expecting. And uh, let me see if I can get to mining this stuff. Uh, it'll only take a few years. It's okay, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back with you as soon as it feels a little bit less laggy. Ah, sigh. Sigh, sigh, sigh. Uh, um, I died again during that horrifying, awful, stupid... Get out of here. Um... The, the the Tesla parkour phase thingy. Uh, oh my gosh, it's extremely annoying. Uh, I keep failing. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop. Oh, crap, I'm freezing to death. Hurry, go, go inside. Go, go. There we go. Got myself next to a torch. Uh, but anyways. Uh, apparently... There's some kind of backstory behind the apex. This is an apex uh, test chamber thingy. I think they're supposed to uh, the prisoners or whatever are supposed to parkour through the maze because uh, the apex society or something like that is really corrupt or whatever, and uh, they are. Ooh, give me that office chair. Yeah. And uh, they they have a bunch of dictators and stuff, and um, it's really got the uh, Starbound story has lots of really cool backgrounds and stuff.
but um, yeah, I'm going to check out this place. I still haven't gotten rid of all the Tesla coil. It's really oh crud, I fell in poison. And uh, you gotta look out for the poison water too. Oh hey, I've totally forgot though that um, oh whoops, I'm freezing to death again. Um, you can you can break the background and that will get rid of the stuff. So let me see if I can do that. Will this work? No. Please. No, that's not working. Darn it. Let me get that, though. Light metal. That's good to have, I suppose. And I'm going to die if I keep getting poisoned. Uh, the green water is supposedly poison water. And it's uh, very dangerous. Don't, don't step in poison water. Please. I'm going to get rid of this. Ow! Oh, crap. Yeah, you seriously have to be careful when you're messing around in this kind of uh, test chamber. Uh, let me break the Tesla coil. Tesla spike, that's what it is. I'm going to jump down here real quick and see if I can knock out more of this stuff. It's extremely laggy, I'm just telling you. You're not going to want to have to deal with this in your world, I guess. Um, but... Uh, if you really wanted to try it out, like uh, parkour-wise and stuff, you'd probably be insane because this is such a... It's almost meant to be impossible. You'd have to be the world's best parkour man, or whatever. Um, oh, and I'm freezing to death again. Darn it. Uh, just place a torch behind you, and that solves everything. Um, what was I saying? Sorry. Alex, what was I saying? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I guess at the end of these uh, apex mazes or whatever, uh, there's a reward, of course. I'm pretty sure. Something about... It's a tech thing, I think. Uh, but, yeah. I don't know too much about the apex backstory. Neither do I know anything about the uh, human's backstory as well. I guess I'm going to have to find out um, more as I progress by investigating stuff. Whoa, I almost fell there. Yeah, that's what killed me the last time. Oh man, I'm starting to lag really bad right now. Sorry for giving you headaches through this uh, lagginess. And I'm freezing to death again. What a coincidence. Wow. Uh, I'm going to work on getting rid of this coil. And, uh, oh hey, there's a chest. Right there. Um, but I'm going to work on getting rid of this stuff, and I'll be back. Alrighty, I'm back, and, uh, and my frame rate is starting to look a little bit better here. Uh, I've got 500 Tesla spikes. Bzz, ouch. <laughs> yeah. And, man, these fluorescent lights are pretty nice. I gotta think about uh, raiding this place. And, uh, check this out. Level 1, how many levels are there? Apparently there's like some kind of lab here. Okay. This is weird. This big ape is all seeing. Okay, let's investigate a few of these things. Yeah. Hmm. Torture. Mac Humanity outlawed many years ago. Oh, I accidentally pressing myself here. It's not QWERTY, but I recognize a lot of letters. Okay. Some of these vials are marked. They're all marked failure. Ah, oh, I see. Uh. Oh yeah, I sure hope so. Hmm. Well, anyways, this is interesting. Let me zoom out and see if I can see the whole lab here. There's a TV. Such thinly veiled propaganda. <laughs> you can see the ape there. That's awesome. And kind of creepy at the same time. But uh, let's see here. Oh, there's some of these. That's nice. Let me grab this flask. I don't know what this does. Hmm. Can I drink it? Uh, well, um... Hey, I got a harp though, I just totally forgot about that. 
Alrighty, I'm all finished cleaning up the place, and uh, I'm still laggy, I don't know why. I guess it's the lights and stuff, that's, that's really weird. I should probably look into that. But anyways, it's time for my reward. Ah oh, yeah, Energy Josh Blueprint. Not sure what I should throw away though for it. Uh, I guess I'll uh, just put it in here for now. Oh, it's raining outside. But anyways, um, for my outro, I think I'll do something a little bit nice. Here we are. Let's play a song. Alrighty. Thank you everybody for watching. This has been Fireworks, and I'll see you in the next episode. Merry Christmas.